Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to use Retool for beginners. So before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering what is the best platform for you to basically create your own software or your own tools, maybe for personal use or for your business. Well, Retool is going to be a friend of yours. Now, in this case, Retool is a platform wherein you can develop your own software or application to basically start or basically to aid you on certain tasks or in your business or in certain activities that you have right now. Now in this case, you don't need or you don't need advanced knowledge on coding here because you'll be able to basically develop your own applications in a drag and drop manner. As you can see here in their sample and their website, you should be able to drag simple buttons, text, tables, and a lot more for you to start developing your application. Now in this case, you have two ways of or two uh applications that you create you, you could go ahead and start creating an application for your desktop or an application for your mobile device now to get us started what we need to do first is we need to basically access their website so go ahead and open up any browser go to retool.com and you should be able to see the main ui that you see here right now on my screen now in this case it's going to give you different information about the uh, platform itself or the software itself so it says develop anything write code nearly anywhere version control with git deploy with the environments and retool is built for mission critical development now in this case you could go ahead and start using it for your business without uh, any hassle now in this case you have the stages here for you to develop your application so initially we have design code debug review and then deploy now in this case you could use this for personal use or for business as you can see uh there are different business that are actually in a relation here with a retool here which includes ramp doordash greenly snowflake and a lot more so in this case you have the following features we have self-host run in cloud custom sso professional services soc2 type 2 audit logs and a lot more now to for us to start or get started in using the platform just click on the get started button at the top right of your screen and from here you should be able to basically redirect it into the sign up page for retool now you have the option to manually create your account here by entering your email address as well as your password here but if you already have an account like for example google you could go ahead and start using that by clicking on continue with google and choose your account here to basically start using it for your retool account so in this case i want to use this one let's go ahead and click on it and once we've done that it's going to reload the page again wherein it's going to initiate process of actually using our google account for that retool account now there's going to be a few information or a few uh, things that it's going to ask you. So first thing is what is your full name? So you can go ahead and just enter your full name here and what is the name of your org organization. Now maybe I want to say this since this is just going to be a uh, personal one for me. I want to go ahead and use this one and just hit on continue. Now, once we've done that, it's going to ask you how familiar are you with programming? So if you're just a beginner, so if you've never written code before, you could go ahead and choose beginner here and just hit on continue. Now from here, do you have a use case in mind? So in this case, if you have, just click on yes and hit on continue. And from here, you want to basically describe what you want to build here. So maybe we just want to start creating a admin dashboard here. And from here, just hit on continue. Now from here, invite technical collaborators. Now in this case, you could go ahead and invite different people to help you build your software. You just need to enter their um, email address here, which is separated by a comma. And uh, if you want to skip this step here, just click on skip this step. Now once you've done that, it's going to redirect you into the uh, editor page for Retool. As you can see, the URL itself is based on what we actually named our organization, so retool.com. Now, initially, this is going to be the editor itself, so from here on, you could go ahead and start editing your application. But in this case, maybe we want to first familiar yourself on the main UI for Retool. So the top left of your screen, go ahead and click on the Retool uh, icon here, and want to click on back to home. 
Now, in the home section, this is where you'll be able to see different uh, applications or tabs for Rito. Now, first things first is the app section. So the app section is this where you'll be, you'll be able to see your applications that you've created or different uh, aspects or apps that you created or if you want to create a new app, this is where you'll be able to create it. Now, if you want to go to resources, this is where you'll be, you'll be able to see your databases and APIs or any connections that you have right now. So right now we have the under resources, retool database, retool storage, email, retool AI, and retool vectors. Now for a database from the name itself is going to be a database. Now, first thing that you go here, it's going to ask you what is the table that you want to name this one. So maybe I want to say there's going to be a sample table here and we want to click on create. Now from here on, it's going to start creating that. So if you want to create a new column here, just click on new fill here or plus button here. And you want to say it is going to be a going to be a column one. And from here, you could go ahead and pre uh, de de determine the field type may be text or a different one here. So pro uh, Postgres SQL type, nullable, unique, the default value. So all this information here or fields here is kind of specific. So if you're familiar with managing databases, uh, well, it's actually similar to that. But if you're not familiar uh, in this case, I would suggest you to read first on using databases because this one is kind of advanced. But for now, I just want to click on save here and I want to go back into the main UI. Now we also have the query library here. Now from the name itself, query is just basically a way for you to start collecting information or to basically filter information that is already existing. Now in here we have resources, which in this case, you'll be able to uh, determine what a type of uh, data, what is the source of that specific data. So in this case, it's going to be a demo here or onboarding a, 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 P, a P, I, action type. We could go ahead and use post, get, put, patch, and delete. URL parameters, headers, body, and cookies as well. Now, if you want to create workflows, which in this case, you could go ahead and basically uh, do a set of actions. So if you want to create a new workflow, uh, workflow, it's going to help you perform some actions without any human intervention. But in this case, we want to first uh, familiarize yourself with using the apps or app builder that we have right now. Now, in this case, maybe we want to create a new mobile app. So this is just going to be an example. Just click on create a new mobile app and we want to give it a name. So I want to say there's going to be a mobile app test. And once we've done that, we could go ahead and click on create app. And it's going to start creating our app and it's going to redirect you into the UI for creating your app. So this might take a few seconds to load up. So let's just wait for it to load up. But once it loads up, you should be able to see this different section. Since I haven't added anything here, so what we need to do next is we need to start adding our components or our screens here. So if you go to the upper left here, this your component tree, wherein you'll be able to see your trees or your screens. Now in this case, this is where you'll be able to see your, by default, there's going to be these screens available. So we have navigation, people list screen, people detail screen, and my profile screen. Now from the name itself, so navigation is going to be the navigation page for our mobile app, while people list screen is going to be the list screen for people. Now, as you can see, we are in the people list screen. Now, at the uh, bottom section here, which is components, this is where you'll be able to see your components. Now, depending on what you select here, you'll be able to see the right side here changes. As you can see, depending on what component you are selecting, like for example, this is going to be a list, you'll be able to basically change a few things here. Like for example, if you want to change the media here, like for example, the type, which is the images that we see here, if you want to change your shape for it, like for example, change the circle, you go ahead and change that or square, rate it back or make it cover, contain, stretch or center. Now we also have the interaction here. So press, so appearances, you have the list or card if you want to change those and the style, the hidden and a lot more. Again, depending on what you select here, you'll be able to access different properties on it and change it if you want to. Now, if you want to add a different or another component, you can go ahead and click on the plus button here and there are going to be different components that you can add. 
Now, for example, if you want to add a button, just click on the button here. And as you can see, the button has now been added. Now, if you want to basically use or reposition the button, you could go ahead and click on the button live, uh, left section here, which is the component section. And from here, you could go ahead and change the appearances like type, secondary, small, width, fixed, or if you want to make it hidden, if you want to as well. Now, if you want to add styles, you could go ahead and click on background or text on it if you want to change those. Now here, the text, you could go ahead and enter a click on it, double click on it, and you could basically change this. Like for example, I want to say this is going to be a sample uh, button. And in here, we have the in type here, which is default and submit. So event handlers, this is where you'll be able to handle different events, like what is going to be triggered when you uh, specifically press on this specific button here. Now, for example, if you click on the plus button, you have the action query here, control query, run script, action sheet, alert, show notification, open URL, copy the clipboard, component, uh, control component, and a lot more. Now, in here, we have the query, depending on what you set in here, and method as well. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and start editing or adding different sections into your mobile applications here as you would. But yeah, so those are the beginner things that you should know here in Rito. But obviously, there's going to be a lot more that we should be uh, we should know here or basically discuss here. But for now, those are the basics, and that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button, and watch our next video.